Hi, I'm Andy. In this series of videos, I'm building a cedar strip canoe. In this episode, I'm going to make the gunnels, attach them, and hopefully also get the decks made and attached into the canoe. The gunnels are the rails that run along the sides of the tops, and they provide a lot more rigidity, the whole canoe is still quite flexible, and they also provide a surface that you can hang the internal furniture, basically the seats, they hang down from the inner gunnels. The inner gunnels are called the inwools, and the outer gunnels are called the outwools. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll use that terminology during this video or not, but now if I do, at least you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go. The first job for the gunnels then, is to take these eight pieces of ash, which I machined up several episodes ago, and scarf join them into four long pieces, long enough to go from bow to stern on the boat. I'm going to use the same jig on the table saw to cut the scarf joins that I used for the, the strips on the side of the boat, which cuts an angle of seven to one, which should be enough to create a good strong glue joint using epoxy. I've machined down these thin pieces of black walnut. I'm going to use these to form the scuppers between the inwalls and the canoe itself, the inwalls and the hull, and that will allow water to drain when the canoe is turned upside down. To lay out the scuppers, I have to first determine where the seats are going. To work out where the seats go, I have to determine which is the front and back of the canoe. So for no good reason at all, except that it's closer to the door, I've decided that this will be the bow, the front of the boat, and the far end will be the stern. So from that point, I can now measure out exactly where the seats will go, determine the location of the scuppers, which gives me the location of the black inserts, the black walnut inserts, and I can start laying out the inwalls and glue those inserts into place. And hopefully tomorrow then, I'll be able to actually fix the inwalls in.
The inn wheels are both fitted. What I thought would take one evening in the end took about four, partly because I had to fit one at a time due to a shortage of clamps. Calling this a shortage is maybe a bit sarcastic. I have about 26 or 30 clamps on here, but that's all of them, plus a few that I borrowed from a friend. Thanks, Nigel. What I'm going to do now is offer up the out wheels one at a time. I really only have one side clear, so I'll do this side first. I'm going to mark them to length and then taper the ends to bring them to a nice tapered point at the bow and stern of the boat. I'll apply that taper and then run the router across the bottom edge on the outside to apply a nice round over. The round over on the top will get done once they're fastened to the boat. I want to talk about a few design decisions that I took for the gunnels. I've made them relatively thin, they're about 19mm deep by about 15mm wide, same on the inside and outside. I made them quite thin but I used large blocks on the in walls and that provides spacing that allows water to drain if the canoe's turned over and it also allows a, a lashing point to tie your gear onto. The extra stiffness provided by those blocks means that you can get away with slightly thinner gunnels. I've tapered the gunnels towards the end. The bow and stern are reinforced very heavily by the decks that will go in the next video. So you can get away with reducing the thickness of the gunnels really quite significantly there because they don't carry as much of the load. I was quite surprised by the amount of clamping force that I needed. When I did dry fit ups I could clamp each gunnel, whether it was an in wool or an out wool, with about 10 clamps. But once I put the epoxy on it became so much more slippery against the hull of the canoe that I needed nearly 30 clamps for each section to hold it in place. So, in fact, I think if I was doing this again, I would glue and, glue and screw the gunnels into place. In the meantime, that's all I have time for this week. 
Thank you so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate all the views and the comments that I'm getting on these videos. If you've enjoyed it, please do click subscribe and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.